All right, guys, time for a quick PSA. Um, sorry if I sound a little bit congested. I'm coming. I'm, I have a cold right now. It just came on this week. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. Um, so sorry again. That, that's really why I've been putting out a lot of content this week. Is putting up a lot of summoning videos. But uh, let's go over it and talk about what's going on. First off, for those with Zenny Drain from Grinding Strike events, um, there's two events you could, that you could actually farm out for Zenny right now. Uh, this one just says to farm the Mr. Right event because I believe that's still available at this time. I'm also going to say that another really good one, something that's better than the Mr. Right event, is probably going to be the GT event that's currently out, the one that you get the Hercule badges from. That's the Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga event. Level 10 is the top two on Earth. So when you're going and grinding that out, you're going to get both Hercule badges, which if you already got all of them, that's good. That means you're going to prep for the future, so that's going to be less of a grind. But you also get an SR statue of Hercule, which sells for 500000 per run. So that's going to get you up really, really quick. So I'd recommend doing that one over the Mr. Right event, just because it's a double bonus on that one. Uh, you can get more Zenny from Mr. Right, but again, it's double bonus because you're going to want those Hercule badges in the future. Uh, Alright, cool. So that said, uh, we also hit the uh, max for energy collected in the campaign, so we should be getting the 200 million dragon stones dual challenge again. So we just need to hit, what, 1.5 million energy, and once we share uh, 1.5 million, then we'll be getting the um, the, the second set of 200, 200 million dragon stones distributed. So that's going to be pretty cool. We're at 1.28, so make sure you keep on going onto the Facebook page and sharing as much as you can. That way we can get additional stones. On top of that, the Mysterious Ritual summons are now on. On the JP side, you could do two times. You could summon twice for 50 stones for 10. On the global side, you could do it four times at 25 stones apiece for five at a time. So essentially, it's the same amount, the same amount of stones. On the global side, they just broke it down into four separate summons. So that way, I guess if you have lower a lower amount of stones, you'll still be able to get at least some of them versus on the JP side where you need to have full 50 stones in order to do it. All right, and last but not least, I did want to go over the LR Goku event. So overall, essentially, I already did a full overview of the LR Goku campaign, but I wanted to talk about it. So for the amount of orbs that you need in order to get him fully maxed out, you're going to need 4,300 small or 4,310 small, 2,470 medium, and 22 or 223 uh, large orbs in order to max him out. Now, when you do this, this is why you when you get all the potential orbs for lr goku unlocked and you, you have 100 percent, you were you get returned all those potential orbs so what does that mean to you what why am i talking about this well right now if you don't have all of the orbs for the event if you're ma if you don't have any orbs and you can't get him to get all the orbs maxed out don't put any orbs into it until you're finished grinding out every single stage up until the last day that it's currently available until you hit all of those numbers. Now, if you want to know the numbers again, you don't need to go back on the videos or look it up. It's actually in-game in the news. If you go to Legendary Campaign Event, it tells you exactly how many orbs you're going to need. So start collecting those orbs for LR Goku. I wouldn't recommend feeding them in until you have 100% all the orbs that you need while the event is going on, so that way you can get them all returned to you. Uh, until that point, if you don't have them, let's say you're missing some, you're not going to get them returned, and then you're putting all your technique orbs in. Now, luckily, on the global side, uh, at this point, there really aren't a lot of technique characters that, that are really worth the orb system or that are, aren't a real priority. The only two that come to mind, in my opinion, are technically the, um, the Merge Zamasu, and the Go Tanks, the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. I also fed a little bit into the Bardock because he does link with a Super Saiyan, uh, th with a Super Saiyan Goku, the LR Goku. Uh, but that's just me. My own personal thing is I want him to hit a little bit harder. I gave him some crits. But overall, there's really not a lot of technique cards. I'm actually on my game right now, so I could look at it. Um, unless you throw it into the OG cell because he does become very viable when he has some in. Um, outside of him, maybe Majin Vegeta if you were a World Tournament player. Uh, there's really not a lot of other cards that I could see you tossing orbs into, at, at least as of right now in the game. So I've been saving mine. I have enough for LR Goku at this point in time. I'm just waiting for the dupes to fall when we get the event. And again, I will be dropping a, an event playthrough on the if we get the new stage on the global side. If not, I'll be doing another event analysis to go over the team so that way you guys have that available. But overall, this event, assuming it's extremely generous to you, will not give you enough orbs, or it might just just give you enough orbs to get everything on the LR Goku. You would need to have a little bit of the Technique Orb saved up. If you have zero orb saved up, grind everything out. Don't feed them into LR Goku when you have him 100% and assuming you're going to do that. Wait until one of the last days and make sure you have enough orbs to get him to 100%.
But according to the calculations here, we're still going to be missing about a little bit of medium orbs. Uh, you might be able to if you just skip one, skip one or two of the small orb events and go for the medium ones. Again, it's all RNG based when these things fall because you'll go up against one boss, and then when you go up against one boss in the tech event, it will drop one of the other uh, large, small. If you go for medium, it's going to drop either a small or a large set. Um, it can work out in your benefit. It can. It depends on how it works. Who knows? We maybe we're going to get the summon banners with potential orbs like the JP side did. And if we do, I think that's going to be a little bit easier for us to get. Maybe they'll just give us some orbs on top of that. So who knows? We'll figure that out in the future. And I'll do a PSA on that when that comes available. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to go over that. Thank you for joining me here today. Hit that sub button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.